Tell me how the past few weeks have been for you. Better? I've been having a lot of buildup of emotion lately. What kind of emotions? Anger? Stress? Sadness? It's more of a... hunger. Not physical, I suppose. No. I'd be in a gym, not a shrink's place. Is there anything that satisfies the hunger? I try. What we usually recommend for our patients is to pick up extensive hobbies, physically intensive hobbies like sports, hiking, joining the gym. I'm a twig. I got asthma. I was on the chess team in high school. I'm pretty sure exerting myself physically is out of the question. Can I ask you a question? Well, I'm the one being paid to do this. Please. Do you believe in God? Of course. I believe in crosses. You know, like burdens and troubles placed on your shoulders to carry through tough times. I think I got this cross because God thinks I'm weak. But he wants me, so he wants me to become stronger. Stronger for what? I don't know. If this is a religious problem, why not ask a priest? I think this is just something that I gotta do on my own. Gents? Hey, Pepper, take a look at this nigga over here. Gotta be shit, me. It's all mask and shit. You wanna play a game? It's fucking America, nigga. This is my shit. My game. Fucking lost, sorry. I found just who I wanted to find. Fuck you say? Let's get on to my game, shall we? It's called. Shut the fuck up, and let me ask the question. I ain't playing shit! What the hell is your problem, mate? What is so hard about this game for you to understand? Jesus! It's called, Shut the fuck up, and I ask the questions. This motherfucker talking like he's from some tea party or some shit. Can you get that through your thick skull? I strike one, mate. Don't get another two, or we'll see how thick your skull really is. Now, question one. What happened on November 13th? The last year. I don't know, nigg. I seen a lot of faces and shit. I don't know what the fuck you talking about. Bullshit, mate. You know what happened. Ugly bloke rolls up onto your shit. Some rival make control over money, offers you a deal, the deal goes south, and you pepper him with your little nine. You think, happy and all that? Except, another guy sees it all go down. So you, gotta clean up your mess, can't have any scraps, so you walk up to him and put 12 fucking bullets in his head. 12! You earned your nickname that night. Peppered him with lead. It was your first night out on the streets, and you were scared. That man was a brother to a friend of mine. A friend who counted on his older brother to look after him. His family was taken from him. They lived in foster homes, out on the streets. They had nothing for you. You had to go and make his less than nothing. Absent of all hope. Strike two for not remembering. Can somebody shut this motherfucker up? Strike three.
Oh, I did get out last night. You did? That's wonderful. How was it? Uneventful. 